We're here with head coach and general manager of the Green Bay Gamblers, Pat Mikish. This is Coach's Corner, presented by Aurora Bay Care Sports Medicine. The Gamblers on a six-game winning streak now in that last place in the playoff hunt in the Eastern Conference standings. A lot of things can shake out, yet you guys have won six straight. The message, though, there's three games left. you got to win them all. Yeah, there's no change that way. I mean, we need to come out and be ready to play on Friday against the Madison team that's playing very well right now. Coach, I before we get into this last weekend, I just love with all the media covers that we've had that the focus is still there with this team. They've been great, and you know, and I think if we would have had a slip up along the way, it would be a lot tougher to fight through right now. But I, I think they all see that they they continue to do their job and and get things done. That we have a chance to play in the playoffs, and you know that's been our our goal for probably the last fifteen games of the year is to give ourselves a chance. Coach, this last weekend you guys picked up a pair of wins over the Omaha Lancers. I like the way they play. They're an up-and-coming team. i got to get a lot of credit to that team, maybe out of the playoffs this year in the Western Conference, but a gritty team. Yeah, Coach Kaufman has them playing very consistently, and you know they had knocked off a very good Youngstown team the game before and came into our building and you know right from the start established it. I thought they were as aggressive on that forecheck in the first period as we've seen in weeks and you know caused a lot of trouble for us, and credit to our players for adjusting and kind of putting pressure on them the rest of that game but you know when you have to go to a shootout you know anybody can take it at that point. I was going to say a lot of pressure going to that shootout but your guy Max Sukoff four for four with saves and then Ethan Brodzinski with the game winner. Yeah and I, I hate watching those things and a lot of times I don't watch but it was uh, you know credit to Max I mean he just uh, you know came up with the stops and watching it back on video made it look pretty easy so it was great for him and then you know Easton just kind of came in with a lot of confidence and buried that last one. As a coach, what are your thoughts towards that? Would you like to see another overtime knowing that that's a big game? Would you rather have your guys out there or have it decided in a shootout? You know, I think I've grown with the with the shootout now. I, I Playing in Europe, you know, we, I had played through it. I think you want games to be decided, you know, at that point. And it's a 60-game season, so it's going to go, you know, sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them. But you want to have guys that you're comfortable in that situation. And, you know, that's how our league decides games, and I'm all in favor of it. And you jump out to a 3 nothing lead on Saturday night. Once again, Omaha kind of battled back, but credit to your guys to keep them at bay a little bit. A couple of huge penalty kills after we gave up that, that one. And, you know, I think that was probably the disappointing part of Saturday. It wasn't that uh, we allowed them to come back, but it was the, the some of the penalties we took. And I, I thought we were retaliating rather than instigating. And, and I think we're always best if we're the team that's, you know, on top of the other team and making them chase us a little bit. But... Omaha put a good push on us, and our guys uh, didn't respond as well mentally as they should have. And then you guys decided to go with David Renek between the pipes. I thought he made some big saves down the stretch there um, in that win. Yeah, and, uh, you know, those those penalty kills, you know, credit to Coach Chuff's group that way. But, uh, you know, we're going to need your goaltender to make some key stops, which he did. And, you know, we're very fortunate to have the goaltending situation we do where we can play, you know, either one any night. On Friday night, uh, Brock Caulfield, I like the way that he got in front of the net there and, and got the tip in to tie that game. But uh, just talk a little bit about his uh, progression in this league. I like how he, even though he, he's not the biggest guy, he tries to get out in those dirty areas out in front of the net. Well, he's a super smart player, and uh, he knows what it takes to win little battles, and, and he gained position on that one, which if there was any rebound there, he was going to be on the inside and be able to have that opportunity. And so... Uh, credit to Brock, but I mean, he's you know that player that we use in a lot of different situations, whether it's a big face-off in the offensive zone, defensive zone, penalty killing, you know, for a young player to be taken on those minutes, it's uh, credit to him. Well, I appreciate your time today. Keep it rolling. It's been exciting. Yeah, it's been fun. Looking forward to uh, another strong weekend. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.